It has long been the in-fisherman view that all fish are sporting fish. That is, all fish bring a curious and intriguing package of characteristics to the fishing mix. Therefore, all fish are worthy of pursuit. Whoa. We Look love them that. all and Look want that. to be able to understand and catch them. Do. From the crappie to the channel catfish, from oh, the sucker to the king world. salmon. But admittedly, some fish are more sporting than others. Crappies no. are way cool, Literally. but they don't exactly crack any speed barriers on their way to the boat or bank. King salmon, on the other hand, can be just plain close to impossible to contain. Drag squeal as line oh. peels. They fight long and hard and jump high enough at times to take your heart and very soul right along with them. So in almost any definition of the term sport fish, the nature of the fish comes into play. And with this nature on display, these questions loom. How big does the fish get? And how hard does it pull? Is it tenacious in its own defense? Does it have stamina to go with this determination? And to cap off the package, does the fish jump? Jump to the high heavens for heaven's sake. Lacking that, does it at least try? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so why do fish jump? Each fish brings to the table a set of characteristics that make it what it is. Why does the tarpon, a sport fish Come supreme, on. take Stay to the nice. air, careen and Whoa, cartwheel, strip Daddy line and more line and more line, oh, and then no, do it all over he... again and I again. Lost him again. No. And just how high does the tarpon fly? Seems the really big ones may get their upper body out nice. and wallow and shake. Fish. Too much mass to move too far. But most Come of on. them clear water and then some. Nice. Three feet, four feet, bridge high and glory bound. Holy cow! Small mouths jump often and repeatedly. Catfish may thrash the surface, wallow and waggle, but they usually don't jump. Yes. King salmon jump often, but oh. common carp rarely do, at least when they're hooked. Trout jump often, but yeah, stripers, right impressive as they are, never do. Wow. Alligator gar attempt to jump, but rarely get all the way out what of the water. A case we think akin to the giant tarpon, where there's too much mass to move oh. too far. Indeed, it seems the same for the largest fish in fresh water. For white sturgeon also get up and come out. Impressive indeed for a freshwater giant that may weigh 500 pounds. But the big ones rarely clear water. We're not complaining, my Of course, largemouth bass jump repeatedly and often way out of the water. While walleyes don't, and neither do croppies. But both get to the surface and thrash their heads. Give them at least a B for effort. Pike might, but usually don't, except throughout summer and when they're feeding heavily in fall. Meanwhile, muskies are quite likely to jump. Oh, look, did you see that? He hit that thing and ran so fast, so hard, I could not get the hooks. That is the first time that has ever happened to me. In I've my never seen that in my life. 35 years of muskie fishing, I have never had that happen to me. Just when you think you've seen what they can do, they do something different. Yeah. Surely the evolutionary process is at work here. Salmon and many trout species often travel tremendous distances to return to natal streams. Traveling upstream, they often have to hurdle over barriers to complete the journey. It's natural for them to have developed an ability to jump. Indeed, they've had to become a tenacious and athletic species, and they've had thousands of years of practice at it. Muskies too were once almost entirely river fish as they developed over the millennia. Apparently, they still carry with them an inherent ability to leap barriers. So they know how to jump. It's still part of their nature, there when they need it. Oh, At this point, we beautiful, wonder, beautiful. could it be that how good an individual oh, fish wow, actually gets fish. at jumping beautiful is a matter of fish, practice? Man. man, I mean, this is a good fish, man. Whoa. Another innate reason that fish jump probably is a response learned over millennia a response to a common environmental occurrence. Fish like smallmouths and largemouths know instinctively what to do when it's time to expel something they've eaten that's not going down well. A crawfish is too big and puts up too much of a struggle, and the fish wants to get rid of it. Or even more likely, the fish eats a spiny prey fish like a bluegill that becomes lodged in its throat. 
It's far easier without all the water resistance down below for the fish to shake the thing loose by taking to the air. So it's natural for a fish feeling something unusual that it can't immediately get rid of, be it hook, lure, or prey fish, to take to the air and shake. As we've noted, even walleyes and crappies, fish that don't jump, do surface to shake their heads when they're hooked. Somewhere along the road since the last ice age, some of our modern wow. species evolved the means to get rid of something stuck oh, in their throat. That was a fat fish, man. How big was it? Looks like 10 pounds, yeah, 9 pounds. Yeah. Whatever the reason that fish jump, wow. we appreciate those that do, that one and all. Jump. We stand impressed by oh, fish that fish. pull like a bull shark <laughs> or a big blue catfish. We yeah, salute fish like the carp, intelligent and tenacious in battle. We deeply respect fish with supreme stamina, like the redfish and lake trout. But we stand in awe of all those fish that jump, especially the big ones that pull hard and fight tenaciously and with stamina. There he is. They aren't all created equal, but we love them all just the same. Coming up, David. He's coming up. Oh, there he is. All right. Wow. What a that jump. Was that awesome. was an awesome jump.